Hey guys, welcome back to Renaissance Math Club. Today's topic is finding the LCM by using the prime factorization method. Now keep in mind that the LCM is just the least common multiple and usually when you're finding the least common multiple you first list all the multiples and find the common multiples and then find the smallest multiple that you can find to find the LCM or the least common multiple, right? Well this time, this is a different method that you can use to find the LCM without actually listing all the multiples. And you can do that by listing the factors of the numbers. And you're going to be using the prime factorization method in which you're going to be creating prime factor trees okay and then you're going to be finding the factors and then you're going to find the LCM and this is really really easy topic as long as you take it step by step and so here we go so today I'm going to be using the two numbers 9 and 12 first I will list the factors of 9 okay so first it's just sort of like a tree that's why it's called factor trees because you're making sort of a tree like that sort of a Christmas tree I guess and I'm going to think of two numbers. What two numbers can I multiply to get 9? Well, what if I do 3 times 3, which is 9? So that means I get 3 times 3, which is 9. And 3 and 3 are both prime factors, so I cannot go on. So that means I get 3 times 3 before 9. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing for 12. What two numbers can I multiply to get 12? What about 2 times 6? 2 times 6 is 12, yes. And 2 is a prime factor prime number, so I also have to break down 6. 2 times 3 is 6, and both 2 and 3 are prime numbers, so that means for 12, I will write 2 times 2 times 3. Now, I have to find a shared prime number. And what a shared prime number is, is just a number that both of the numbers share. It's a factor that both of the numbers share. And here, if you look at it, it is 3. So that is my shared prime number, so I'm going to write 3 and I'm going to underline it to show that it is my shared prime number. And now I'm just going to multiply it by the rest of the remaining numbers, which is 2, 2, and 3. So times 2, times 2, and then times 3. Now the reason you find shared prime factor is that if you weren't to do that, then you would have 3 3's over here and that would change the number. So that you, now that you have these, you're just going to go ahead and multiply. 3 times 2 is 6. and then. 3 times 2 is 6, and 6 times 6 is 36. That means your LCM for 9 and 12 equals LCM of 9 and 12 is 36. So that's that for LCM by using prime factorization method. And I hope you guys understood this topic, and this is once again a very, very easy topic as long as you take it step by step. And um, check out our blog for extra practice problems on this topic and also further coming up topics. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.